So the global market for NFTs has witnessed a downward trend in trading volumes, marking a consistent decline for the third week of January. According to the latest figures from Cryptosland.io, a prominent on-chain data aggregator, the trading sales volume in the NFT sector has fallen to $223 million over the last week. This represents a significant 22.5% drop compared to the previous week's figures. Um, contrastingly, the NFT market has observed an uptick in the number of active participants. Recent data shows that over 734,000 collectors engaged in NFT purchases across various platforms in the last week. This surge, amounting to a 34% increase, indicates a growing interest in non-fungible tokens, despite the overall decrease in trading volume. Uh, however, WASH trading has been notably high, specifically across Solana and Avalanche collections. Uh, WASH trading is a form of market manipulation where an investor simultaneously sells and buys the same NFT to create misleading artificial activity in the marketplace. The notably high levels of WASH trading on Solana and Avalanche suggest a significant portion of their NFT transactions may be artificial, potentially inflating the perceived market activity and skewing genuine economic indicators. The Bitcoin Ordinals collections took the hardest hit in January as sales declined by nearly 35%. Ethereum and Solana-based NFTs also saw a significant decline. However, non-fungible tokens on Polygon experienced a massive 70% increase in sales this month. Polygon's most popular collection, Trump Digital Trading Cards Series 2, saw a notable 25% increase in floor price. This is potentially due to the hype around the current election season in the U.S. and Trump's campaign. Um, on the other hand, popular Ethereum-based collections saw a notable decline in the past few weeks, with the floor price of CryptoPunks and BAYC both down nearly 8% in the past two weeks. And although the market significantly recovered uh, from its prolonged downtrend in Q4 2023. Uh, it's seemingly quite going through uh, a bearish phase, perhaps an indication of uh, user interest shifting to the less popular networks uh, like Polygon and, uh, and Avalanche face collections, uh, which have both seen remarkable growth this month. Uh, it appears the NFT business may be shifting and diversifying rather than strictly shrinking. Uh, 